All right. So what I've done here is I've combined, we got an O'Reilly's Auto Parts in uh, my neck of the woods. And I've combined the big seven ton puller with the three ton puller jaws that fit in. And I used the extra links to extend this so it would make it over. This side came off a lot easier than the other side. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that Chicago streets are slanted and uh, water accumulated in the other other uh, disc hat, whatever the heck this is. It's like a disc with a drum with the parking brakes in it. Uh, assembly and the pads that you need to basically heat up to loosen up the rust are the ones right next to the bolts. So I was heating up with my propane torch here and you can see the discoloration and the rusting from all the, the heat that was generated in the water part of the combustion anyways uh, so I didn't avoid the holes I don't I don't want to burn what's inside there but in between the holes where uh, where these bolts are I just heat it up like here I rotated and then I heat it up here and I kept on going around and what that does is that loosens up all the rust that's behind uh, behind these what's it called <laughs> another uh, little piece of advice put a piece of metal in here because it basically destroys destroys the little divot wow this thing's still not coming off but i'm sure i'll get it off just so you know i'll show you the other one banged and banged and that was a bad idea so you want to pull equally if you look at the amount of rust that basically formed and it's sort of just the part that mats up mates up uh, against this has the threads and it just blocks it in hence why I heated up this to try to thermally expand and contract the metal so it cycles chip away and uh, you can see the little grooves it basically made while pulling off so it looks like this inside so uh, the rust forms behind here and uh, good luck trying to pull it off basically all that rust is keeping that hat which goes all the way to here on <laughs> I don't know. by the way you should uh, if you got a problem pulling these off you might as well uh, get brake shoes uh, or not uh, the parking brake shoes because um, most likely they're gone. This is these rotors have been on this car for 11 years. That's probably why uh, they're so difficult to pull off. Let's see if I can pull this one off. Oh, and as, as I was turning, I was hitting it. I wasn't hitting it, I was tapping it. I was turning. I think that's the secret. And similar story here. Big chunks of rust, basically, in the paths of where these things are. Oh, definitely need parking brake shoes over here as well. But this one came off like a dream. Only about what 15 minutes other one I spent about five hours on that's my video contribution